is the extraordinary, is the fantastic, is the legendary Nürburgring. Hello and welcome everyone to the mid-season highlight here at the Eiffel. Welcome to the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. This weekend is about racing and will the title defender, the Hungarian Norbert Kisch, be able to compete against the local heroes, Sascha Lenz and Steffi Harm? We talked to them both about their tactics. I hope that uh, we will be a little bit quicker than in, uh, in uh, Poznan at the last race weekend, that we find a little bit of speed and uh, be able to finish on the podium. I think this is the goal for the race weekend. You know, when I say now we, we drive this weekend two times on the podium and anything is wrong with the truck or anything, then uh, yeah, the last time we have every time bad luck, yeah. So, but this year I, I hope we have not too many pressure or I have not too many pressure inside so that I can the same steel drive with in Poland or Slovakia. Yeah? So and then we will see what we have on the end. set in stone but the championship was halfway through and this is the highlight here at the Nürburgring at the ADAC Truck Grand Prix. We are so excited. So the weather prediction for today is it's not going to rain, but maybe tomorrow. I know you're a rain expert, but you're also competing against the local matadors. They knew every like grass root on the side. How do you manage to keep everything you wanted to know about the track in your mind? Yeah, you know, it's really difficult because, you know, obviously we are not coming here to test. So I only, I only driven this circuit when we are here on a race weekend in the past, you know, but okay, we've been coming here a lot, you know, in the past eight years or so I was here so you know I think I also have a, a good amount of experience So it was finally time to go racing at the Nürburgring for the International ADAC Truck Grand Prix and with the first race of the weekend we would see Norbert Kisch and Sasha Lenz on the front row of the grid, the two drivers that everybody was expecting to be battling each other for victory over the course of the weekend. It was a great start as ever by Sasha, moving just slightly in front of Norbert and getting a push from his teammate Jamie Anderson down towards Turn 1. As usual though at the first corner, a lot of the field ran quite wide and it certainly added up a bit more shuffling to our usual race starts. Norby was able to stay just in front and while Sasha mounted an attack, his teammate Jamie Anderson lost it on the brakes, went into the side of him and it was Jochen Hahn that benefited and moved up into second position. Norby was certainly going to be happy to see this in his mirrors just because it meant that he would have less pressure behind in the opening couple of stages. Eventually, Norby would try and open up a gap with Jochen Hahn and Antonio Albacetti behind, the latter being under pressure from Jamie Anderson, while Sasha Lenz started to fight his way back through the pack, hoping to get by Andre Kurzim, and the battling in the Promoters' Cup at the back of the field was absolutely insatiable. Mark Taylor having a fantastic scrap with Stefan Fass. Sasha was certainly determined to get back ahead though and the signals were already there as he tried to make his way past Andre Kurzim. There was a bit of a moment for Mark Taylor unfortunately down at turn 5 and after running very well inside the top 10 he lost a bunch of positions and would of course lose places in the Promoters Cup as well. He recovered quickly though so it was definitely not a race that was completely written off for him. Unfortunately, the race was written off for Jose Eduardo Rodriguez. After slight contact at a certain part of the race, he managed to have a steering adapter snap on him, which meant the truck had no steering whatsoever. That section was covered by yellow flags until the very end. 
Lucas Hahn and Steffi Hahn were having a great fight as well. The young German driver, obviously son of Jochen Hahn, managed to get by at one point, but Steffi fought back very quickly and took the position away just into the later stages. It was lovely to see two Ivecos fighting here, though, at the Nürburgring, where the brand brings a lot of support to the championship. Norbert Kisch did his usual in race one, though, and opened up a lovely gap over Jochen Hahn. And as Jochen eventually tried to get closer and closer at the end, Norby turned the taps up and flew away at the front of the field. Jochen was holding a decent gap ahead of Antonio Albacetti, though, and Antonio certainly had his own lovely gap behind to Jamie Anderson and Sasha Lenz. But again, the Promoters' Cup proving fantastically entertaining. Stefan Fass, Erwin klein Nagelvort, and Clemens Hecker here in a great, great trio, battling all the way to the chequered flag. It was great to have Erwin klein Nagelvort back in the championship again, and he was on much better form this season than he was last season in his Scania. Jamie Anderson made a mistake in the later part of the race and Sasha Lenz was able to capitalise, getting back ahead of his teammate after they had contact earlier in the race. A great recovery drive by both of them though, to get back up into the top five positions. But Norbert Kish took the first race victory of the weekend in wonderful style, with Jochen Hahn drifting to the flag in second place and Antonio Albacetti rounding out the podium. You won this first race here at Nürburgring. How happy are you? Yeah, very. Um, you know, good race. Uh, a little bit tight, too tight at the beginning. Um, because, you know, by, at the start, I think uh, we could do the same with Sasha. But uh, on, on the first turn, um, I made a little bit of a mistake because I locked up the, the front ride. Um, even though I, I tried to be careful because I kind of knew that the track is going to be slippery. And here is the first race result of the weekend. Norbert Kish wins by 7.8 seconds over Jochen Hahn, while Antonio Albacetti rounds out a legendary podium of drivers with so many championships between them, 13 in total. Owen klein Nagelvort just misses out on points, while Mark Taylor and Louis Requenco are the last finishers. here at the heart of the Nürburgring. We are here at the race control. All important people are sitting here. You can see managing director of the HR, Rolf Werner, and of course, all the head responsibilities of the rescue team. And because the stewards, they are charged with assessing on track misdemeanors and punishing drivers accordingly. They see all the monitors here. It's very, very interesting. And of course, they check if there's debris on track, for example, or if the race, of course, needs to be stopped due to an incident. They have very, very much a lot. We don't want to destroy disturb them all here, so see you outside. partners on the basic motorsport what we do, what is our life in the moment, go with us to the future and this makes me very proud. I have diesel in the blood, not really a battery, but you know when we, we think about five minutes and we say no, we must go forward, we must develop, we must learn the things what we need, the knowledge to do it, why we are a part of the future together with Iveco and the partners and this is the sense, you know, to look forward.
Once again, it was time for the reverse grid race in race two of the weekend. And in typical Eiffel weather fashion, there was a brief rainstorm just before the race got underway. So the track would be nice and greasy for our drivers to show off their race control abilities. We would get underway under yellow flag conditions though, so for the first lap the whole field would be able to go at full pace but just not overtake each other. And it was Andre Kurzim, Lucas Hahn and Steffi Halm first, second and third for Iveco with Jamie Anderson and Sasha Lenz completing the top five. The spray was very consistent and the rain was getting heavier and heavier as the race went on. But as we finally went green, Andre Kursim got his foot down and opened up quite the gap over Lucas Hahn, who would instantly have to defend from the field behind. Steffi Halm got through quite quickly, so too did Sasha Lenz, and Norbert Kish once again showed his prowess in the rain and started making places too. Antonio Albacetti here going down the inside of Jamie Anderson at turn five, while Norbert Kish took advantage as well. Norby was all over Antonio like a flash, and then he would make his move into the chicane, around the outside on the way in, and down the inside on the way out. Lucas Hahn was defending as hard as he could though, with everybody piling in behind, all almost seemingly taking it in turns to try and have a pop. Jochen Hahn was sizing through the field as well with Norby, in the hopes of trying to get back onto the podium with him. It was tantalising stuff though, as the trucks had to tiptoe their way around the circuit in these very challenging conditions. Norbert Kish completed an amazing overtaking move on Lucas Hahn, being around the outside at turn two and setting himself up through three and four, and then seemingly just driving away as if that truck was completely unstoppable. The top three would see him coming in their mirrors though, and would obviously get their foot down to try and stay as far in front as they could. Eventually, Sasha Lenz had made his way up into second place and was mounting his own challenge for the race lead on Andre Kurzim, getting through in the Mercedes-Benz Arena section, not without, at least, a bit of sideways action from both of them. One of the highlights of the race was Norbert Kish's beautiful double overtake on Andre Kurzim and Steffi Halm. He waited for the perfect opportunity while the two Iveco's were fighting and swept around the outside of the Bilstein Curva to get the job done and go charging after the number three machine of Sasha Lenz. All of this had been going on though while Norbert Kish had been given a 10 second penalty for overspeeding at the start of the race. Due to the conditions and one of the bridges on the start finish straight, sometimes the GPS signals of the trucks that tracks the speed of them can get a little bit scrambled and Norby was given a penalty because it was just over the 160 km an hour limit. He'd eventually get by Sasha Lenz for the race lead and then go about the next task which would be opening up a lead of over 10 seconds. So long as he could do that, he would still be classified the race winner, and he just about managed it before the red flag. Heinrich Clemens Hecker unfortunately going off and getting in stuck in a precarious position, and the rain getting worse and worse. It was the right decision to red flag the race, with Norbert Kish declared as the winner. As you can see, plenty of standing water all around the circuit and in the pit lane, but in the challenging conditions, Reves Racing and Baloo had once again done an amazing job. Uh, Norbert Kirsch, congratulations. Due to sensory problems, Shababaku explained it was very difficult for you to keep the speeding, and so you got penalized. Um, how was the situation for you? How do you dealt with that? Uh, you know, it's just um, our GPS system goes crazy under this bridge here that we are standing right under. And, and right at the start, you know, when they give us the green flag, we accelerate and we reach 160 right about here under the bridge. And then, uh, you know, the speed control system goes crazy. So I started right away with a uh, with the overspeed, which is a 10 second penalty. So I, I, I thought it was lost, but you know, then again, we could find some grip and, uh, and uh, make some nice overtakes. Uh, sometimes two people at once, you know. <laughs> So with everybody braving the conditions, this is how the second race of the weekend finished. 
Norbert Kish taking his second win on the bounce, just under four seconds ahead of Sasha Lenz, even with a penalty applied. Steffi Halman third, Andre Kurzin fourth, and Antonio Albacetti rounding out the top five. Stefan Fass ended up in sixth place with the Promoters' Cup victory, ahead of Jamie Anderson and Lucas Hahn. Jochen Hahn finished outside of the top ten after a spin earlier on in the race and was not able to recover into a championship point scoring position. One of the best things about the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship is the attraction of so many things to do and see on and off the circuit as well as the racing and the Nürburgring round at the International ADAC Truck Grand Prix is no exception. So much to do, so much to see and great, great fun for all. As part of the very busy schedule at the International ADAC Truck Grand Prix, we had quite an interesting layout for our races. Basically, Saturday would host race two, the reverse grid race as a result of race one, then qualifying, and then race three. So after qualifying, everybody was then sorted into their qualifying positions for the grid, and we got underway once again. The drivers certainly finding it a different challenge to have the races this way round on the weekend, but it was again Norbert Kish and Sasha Lenz on the front row, and another dramatic start with a lock-up from Norbert Kish into the first corner as everybody piled in, set the tone for what was going to be a great, great race. Sasha Lenz held on to second position, but the battling behind was absolutely fierce. Jochen Hahn was just ahead of Steffi Halm and in the middle of the field where the Promoters' Cup was going on, it was hard to decide who was going to be where at the end of the first lap. Unfortunately though, Erwin klein had a spin after some contact and a believed steering issue kept him out of the race for good. Mark Taylor and Jose Eduardo Rodriguez were having a good fight in the middle of the Promoters' Cup as well, both trying to get the better of Stefan Fass, who is having a great race weekend so far at his home circuit. There was bodywork here, there and everywhere around the circuit as the drivers certainly got their elbows out and enjoyed the afternoon's racing. But it was Sasha Lenz ahead of Antonio Albacetti, Jochen Hahn and Steffi Halm completing the top five as Norbert Kish once again displayed the great pace that he's got behind him. Norby kept it nice and tidy doing qualifying lap after qualifying lap and it was going to be hard for anybody to catch up with him. Seemingly no damage from the opening encounter, where they'd had quite a lot of contact into the first corner. Beautiful scenes though, as the crowds flocked to the grandstands to see our drivers completing the day's racing here at the Nürburgring. Jamie Anderson was chasing down Andre Kurzim in the middle point of the race. The Englishman doing a great job so far this season after moving up into the Titan category instead of being in the Promoters Cup this season. Speaking of Promoters Cup though, Lucas Hahn was showing everybody how it was done in his wonderful Iveco S way, certainly again showing that he is a star of the future in this championship and we look forward to hopefully seeing him for a full season at some point. But again, Norbert Kish's times were phenomenal, he just carried on managing the pace and took the third race victory of the weekend, second place for Sasha Lenz and a very happy team with Antonio Albacetti completing the podium again. But you seem to have a little problem finding your second space here. Yeah, but it's fine, you know, it's uh, my home circuit. I'm, I'm really happy we stand the second time now on the podium for today. And um, yeah, I'm really happy. With the champagne flowing and the smiles humongous, Norbert Kish took his third race win on the bounce here at the Nürburgring this weekend, with Sasha Lenz in second place, Antonio Albacetti once again on the podium, Jochen Hahn improving on yesterday in fourth place, Steffi Halm completing the top five, and Lucas Hahn taking a victory in the Promoters' Cup, with Jose Eduardo Rodriguez and Mark Taylor joining him on the podium, Mark completing the top ten in the overall standings in the race, and earning a championship point.
As the sun sets on the racing action for Saturday, and as is the tradition, down at the Mullenbach Schleifer, all of the wonderful show trucks were lined up and the partying was in full swing. The epic firework display as well with Das ist der Moment as this year's slogan looked wonderful and everyone looked forward to a very fun Sunday. With quite a while for drivers and teams to wait until the race on Sunday, there was certainly a lot of time for preparation, so everybody was ready to do battle. Jamie Anderson and Andre Kurzim were on the front row and led away in the opening laps, but it was Norbert Kirsch having to really get his elbows out and fight hard with the Iveco's of Jochen and Lucas Hahn. Sasha Lenz was involved in two, as well as Steffi Halm, and it was certainly a frantic opening couple of laps to the race. Bodywork being shredded away from Norbert Kish's truck as he pushed on to try and take four wins out of four and get the Grand Slam like he did at Slovakia Ring. He was very quickly catching up to Andre Kurzim, and before long he would get by the Iveco, but not after a valiant defence from Andre at one of his home events. Norby was trying absolutely everything to get by, going all the way over to the pit wall with bodywork flapping around, certainly showing off some body language that showed determination in his race. He would eventually get by down the inside at turn five into the hairpin and set off in his chase of Jochen Hahn. Jochen himself was in a chase trying to get by Jamie Anderson. Jamie was hoping to take a race victory after not standing on the top step for quite a while, so he was doing everything he could do to defend from the Iveco. Jochen sent it down the inside into the hairpin though, late on the brakes, and got the move done on the Brit, showing off some fantastic braking ability and getting a massive round of applause from the crowd. Norbert Kish followed quickly though, not one to waste time, and got straight down the inside of Jamie as well and then had his eyes set on the race lead. This was where we would really see Jochen's experience come into play though, and the defending was absolutely supreme, taking the win from Norbert Kish and Jamie Anderson in a thrilling conclusion to the weekend's racing. The celebrations were wonderful and the smiles were humongous as Jochen Hahn took the race win on home soil. A great podium celebration between all three drivers and even double trouble with another Iveco taking the win in the Promoters' Cup in the form of Lucas Hahn. So a Hahn on the top step of each podium for the weekend in the final race was certainly a positive vibe. And I mean, look at it. Great, great fun between all the drivers and a wonderful, wonderful way to conclude the International ADAC Truck Grand Prix. Good and hard work, that's the theme, talking to Lucas Hahn. Congratulations, the young drivers category. You've got awarded for every race weekend and at the end of the season, there's going to be the big, big trophy, but the trophy was huge. So how does this award boost all the young drivers? Yeah, it means a lot, you know, it, we, we work hard for it because uh, Rodriguez is also a good driver and he's also fast and yeah. That, that's why I always need to look that I, I'm in front of him and maybe at the end I'm the young star driver. So a thrilling conclusion then to the weekend's racing with Jochen Hahn taking a victory here in Germany, Norbert Kish joining him on the podium and Jamie Anderson also getting a podium as well. Sascha Lenz finished in fourth ahead of Andre Kurzim with Lucas Hahn taking the Promoters' Cup victory as we saw there ahead of Stefan Fass and Jose Eduardo Rodriguez. John Newell, Erlewin Kalein Nagelvoort and Louis Requenko rounding out the final field of the weekend. And in the championship, it's Norbert Kirsch now on 209 points to Jochen Hahn's 155. Sasha Lenz in third, just ahead of Antonio Alvacetti in a great fight between those three. In the Promoters' Cup, it's Jose Eduardo Rodriguez just ahead of Stefan Fass, with Mark Taylor having another strong weekend to move up into third, with more and more points on the board for Lucas Hahn as well. 
John Newell next up ahead of Louis Requenco, Heinrich Clements Hecker, Jonathan André and Erwin Klein Nagelvoort after his first appearance in the Championship this year. That's all from the Nürburgring though and the International ADAC Truck Grand Prix for another year and we will see you again soon in a few weeks time as we head to Most in Czechia.